this looks horrifying. Okay, let's try it out. I should, um... Where is it? Current game. There we go. Okay. Oh, wait. Why didn't it do what I wanted it to do? Shoot. Hold on a second. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Current game. Dead Flower. Alpha. It's in a weird spot, isn't it? I'm just, sorry. I'm just going to adjust this ever so slightly. Ah, uh, come on, there we go. And I just, sorry. My uh, OCD is taking over. I gotta have it perfect. There, that looks much better. Okay. So, yeah, okay. Anyway, haha. <laughs> uh, this game is not intended for general audiences. If you're easily frightened, sensitive, or to violent themes and imagery, or have trouble with flashing lights, it is advised that you do not continue. Did I update the game? Yeah, I did. Game settings, okay. Well, let's do this shit, shall we? Shit. Okay. <clears throat> Gameplay, that was entry. Okay. Difficulty, casual. <laughs> the intended experience, nightmare. You will die. <laughs> just, just, but nightmare will contain longer unedited scenes and additional choices. Does it in this version, or is that just what you were planning to do? I would also say don't hide um, extra stuff behind a higher difficulty unless it's like your standard one. Like say sta like casual, hey, beginner, whatever, go through it where it's standard and above, you'll see the full game, you know, that sort of thing. So I only got the word longer, but not quite what I want. Okay. But what the fuck? Game can be played full screen. Yeah, okay. Headphones and dimly environment are suggested to optimize your playing experience. Ooh. Oh my. Okay. What the? <clears throat> One last question for you all before you go, if I may. What will you describe as your greatest flaws? Please answer briefly and honestly. Naive. Destructive, hateful, dependent, gullible, apathetic, close, it's heartless. <laughs> Thank you all for your answers. You are dismissed. Show of 51, 1977, June. Psst. Anybody home? Hmm? <gasps> Ishikawa? Is that you? The one and only. There's at least one other person in your class with that name. Listen. I'm the popular one, all right. Ishikawa's B and C can't quit cramping my style. Well, Miss Popular, you better have a good reason to be interrupting my beauty sleep because I'm about to go for round two. I'm using the term beauty sleep lightly here. I've been awake for at least 30 hours. Send help. Man, what's keeping you up late all the time, Tachibana? I'll personally climb through your window and tuck you into bed if I have to. Please. And read me a best time, please. And read me a bedtime story while you're at it. Anyway, enough about my, about my increasingly poor life decisions. Did she send you this time? Oh yeah. Natsuki ordered me to drag you to the club room. And no, you can't weasel your way out of this one. Ugh, I'm already getting chills. What could she possibly want now? Relax. She's not going to make you climb the roof again. Y yeah, I'd hope not. I almost died. Almost. So you coming or what? Right. Actually, a new escape, okay. Aha! Oh, there's already saves. Ha! I'll be damned. Don't worry about the saves. <laughs> Let's save over number one. There we go. 
That's hilarious, okay. A gorgeous oil painting depicting a desert sunshine. Or maybe it's a sunset. It's an oil painting of a student conversing with her own bloody ghost at a, blood, at a bus stop. Tomorrow by Shinida Rumiko. I heard somebody found a knife in one of these drawers once. Another one of Natsuki's tall tales, no doubt. Okay. Get that sleep out of your system yet? Let's go. I don't want to keep the princess waiting. By some strange twist of fate, I became a member of our school's occult club, which I'm, surpri which I'm surprised the faculty permits. There are a lot of members, actually, but really it's just a group of friends who want to hang out and do silly things together. Our club leader, uh, Fujikawa, uh, Fujioka, am I saying that right? Natsuki, is rather clever in that regard. While on the surface it seems like all we do is screw around, she works very hard behind the scenes to keep the club alive. And whenever she calls us in like this, there are only a few possibilities that come to mind. Number one, help clean the school or raise funds. Number two, have a fun activity as a group. And number three, actually do something occult related. By the way, uh, Ishikawa carried her tone. But by the way Ishikawa carried her tone, I have an inkling as to which one we're about to be in for. Uh, Sukiko. Welcome to my domain, fools. The moment in the, the darkness of this rub touched you. Your miserable face was sealed. You are trapped here in, in, you're trapped in here like insects, wings torn and all. Your leader, you see, the one you know as Natsuki, is no longer of this world. And now that I have assumed her form, I will see two of you both kneel before your new overlord. Ah! My eyes! Yeah, yeah, the demon lord is defeated. And can we have our princess back? Oh, you filthy, pathetic sub-creatures. You haven't seen the last of me! Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> wow. Is that what you expected? I think not. Huff huff. <laughs> Can you believe I have a crush on this fool? Ooh. Hmm? Did you say something? Yeah, I was just telling Tachi, uh, Tachibana how much I love Udon. Suspicious. Not at all. Carry on. We'll see about that. Ayane. Oh, will you, Natsuki? Right, can I go now? Or are we actually going to do something? Oh, sorry. We do have a habit of getting sidetracked. I can see why you're not eager to attend the meetings. Not back, sore. Don't worry about it. Well, moving on to the topic at hand. The two of you have been assigned the honorable duty of investigating not our first, not our second, not our third, not our fourth, not our fifth. Seriously, I'm like five seconds away from walking out the door. But now our confirmed sixth mystery of the school. I've never heard of our school having any mysteries. That's the spirit! <laughs> now let's see here. Club applications, scheduled from last week, Ayani's dating history. What was that last one? Uh, here we are! My top secret reports indicate that a vague presence was spotted on the second floor of the old school building. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Sorry, the second floor of the what? Old school building? You really don't pay attention to anything, huh? I'm already at home in spirit. My physical body just hasn't caught up yet. Here. We're not that boring to hang out with, are we? What? No, no, it has nothing to do with you. I've been dead on my feet this whole week. The only thing my body wants to do is shut down and eat ice cream. Yeah, I've been there. I hope you feel better soon. Me too. That said, it's just me and Tachibana this time, right? Yep. That was cool. That was really cool how it just tossed across the screen like that. I have a baseball bat. Whoa, careful with that. You're not actually expecting us to use this, are you? No, but better say sorry, right? It could be some creepy old guy. So be sure to give a good whack for me if it is. Excuse me. Already ruling out the supernatural, huh? All right, whatever. Let's go, rookie. So I don't get a say in this, as usual. Guess it can't be that bad. Whoa. <laughs> This place sucks. That was kind of an interesting transition. I kind of, I think I like that. I did. Why was there a tumbleweed? <sighs> this 
building has safety hazard written all over it. Explain to me again why it hasn't been torn down yet. I'm sure it'll tear itself down if we wait long enough. Who did the art for, for this uh, atlas? Did, was it you? I think I'd rather climb the roof again. That's cool. Are working. The stairs are over to the left. Oh, we have to go up the stairs. Okay, fine. I really like the little details like that. That's really cool. This is a. Uh, is this VX or VX Ace? Two small options around by interacting with them. In most cases, you'll be able to choose between three options push, pull, or switch. I honestly think that Ace. Ace was kind of ahead of its time, I think. It's probably one of my favorite RPG makers, although I like the ease of use of MV, so... And the fact that you can do different uh, windows and things like that. And that it moved to Java instead of Ruby, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> You're going to change the settings menu. Ooh, item. On the desk is a very hastily scribbled note. Spec. Hey, what's that? What's this? I'll get back to you on that once I figure out how to read the smallest handwriting in the universe. <laughs> Let me see the note. Knock yourself out. <clears throat> hmm. I think it says class 2-1. Really? I thought maybe it was a 9. Eh, you don't have to take my word for it. Your guess is as good as mine. What the? I saw a shadow. Oh, I saw a shadow. Oh, you just, oh, that's what switch means. Cool. It's in here. It's class number two one. Another note. What's to say on that one? You want me to check the cabinet? Oh boy, I can see where this is going. Fuck. Check under the second chair in the bottom row. Check the desk drawer. Check the other drawer. Well, what does it say? Do the chicken dance and run ten laps around the track. I think I'm getting, starting to get a good idea of who our mysterious presence is. <laughs> Wait, track in, in your bloomers. <laughs> your bloomers? Oh, God, Atlas. <laughs> Great, now the door's jammed. We know it's you, uh... Aris... Aris... Arisaka? Arisaka? We know it's you, Arisaka. Open the door. Chill out, Tachibana. That thing's not gonna open for anything short of a battering ram. He's not that strong. <laughs> I said the same thing. Let's just chat for a bit, yeah? Sure. Not like we have anything else to do. What's up? I was hoping you'd have some questions to ask. Questions, huh? <laughs> any raunchy stories? <laughs> Something wonderful from Rana. Do you have any dirty stories stashed away? Oh, ho, 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 my! Now you're talking my language. Wait, I shouldn't be saying that. You're still young, uh, Sukiko. Maybe when you're a bit older. Oh, come on. I can help myself just fine. I don't know. <laughs> Insist. Please. You're not helping. I'll be fine. It's a big deal anyway. I have a guilty conscience for one thing. <laughs> Keep insisting. <laughs> what a baby. You're really gonna make me my virgin ears bleed or something. If you're that eager to know, I suppose I have no choice. Oh, and fun fact. I just got dirt on just I've got dirt just on just about everybody, every club member. Better watch yourself, Tachibana. That sounds more like a threat than a fun fact. But go on. Where to begin? I believe the first victim was Rumiko. Rumiko? She's one of the club members. You don't know her? I'll save that one for another time, then. And there was that one time with me and that Suki. 
Last year, my parents went out for their, uh, bonakai. Natsuki took it upon herself to drop by my house with a friend of hers. We spent most of the day, uh, chilling out under the kotatsu. Natsuki and I broke out the alcohol and we got a little tipsy. Well, what happened? I've changed my mind about all this. <laughs> what do you mean you changed your mind? I want to know what happened. I'll give you the rest some other time. Sorry, I thought you wouldn't be ready for this, but it turns out I'm the one who isn't ready. I'll let you off the hook this time. Tell your sister that we talked about this or she'll kill me. You didn't even get to the juicy part. <sighs> it took way longer than it should have, but we got it done. No well, thanks to Ryuga, as usual. Okay, but I was dragged here against my will. <sighs> We're here to welcome a new member. Where's your team spirit? It died when I joined this club. You're about to die for real if you don't pick up your attitude. <laughs> Better than listening to you. You're seriously asking for it, aren't you? I don't understand you guys. Oh, good timing. Get over here. We've been waiting for you. So, did you have fun in the timeout zone? <laughs> a lot more than you guys are having in here, I bet. This looks like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it was. And Ryuga contributed nothing. Tachibana, let him know what an asshat he is. Ryuga, you asshat. <laughs> How is that? A solid effort, but it could use more bite. I think you have potential. Cut me some slack. I have, a, I have enough trouble handling just one of you. Giving up already? It's working, Tachibana. Keep pressuring him. I'm not that mean. Hey, I don't mean to interrupt the conversation, but isn't Ayani supposed to be with you? Where is she? Yeah, she's right behind. Behind me? Well, she was with me a second ago. <sighs> We're going to start soon. Why is everyone disappearing? It's one person. Don't sass me, boy. Beep, beep, make way! Oh. Definitely a princess. All right, ladies and gents, all eyes up front. Great. You are all gonna be victims. <laughs> now that everyone's gathered here, except Rumiko. Now that everyone except Rumiko has gathered here, let us begin our first event for the day. Hey, Ishikawa. What usually happens during these kinds of events? Beats me. Oh, hold on a minute. I almost forgot. But before we start, I'd like for us to agree on one thing. Tachibana? Y yes? We're all pals here, aren't we? This may be a little overdue, but I think it's about time we refer to each other on a first name basis. Would you want to feel like the rest, like the, I wouldn't, wouldn't want you to feel like the odd one out, after all. Thank God that's over. Really? You're springing this on me so suddenly. But I like it. I really hope I can get to know everyone better. Touching. While we're at it, can we start a petition to change Ryuga's name to Turd Rocket? <laughs> Come on, no one's going to. I agree with this change. Seems fine to me. It's got a nice ring to it. That's a bit... Challenge accepted. The people have spoken. This ain't fair. <clears throat> Shut up, Turd Rocket. Go stand in the corner where you belong. <sighs> I'm gonna kick you. No, no, let's settle down, good citizens of Osaka. We have something very exciting ahead of us. <laughs> Are you gonna... A club expedition! Huh? Yes, sir! You heard me right. Now that the term is over, I put together a detailed plan for a club... For a club road trip! Forgive me for being worried about this club road trip, but what's the occasion? <laughs> we have a real mystery on our hands. This can only end well, I'm sure. So I was talking to this ratty-looking homeless guy behind a 7th mark, and he entrusted me with some very sensitive information. This is a joke, right? There are strange things happening in the town of Makiba. Uh, Naga Nagano. M Makiba Nagano. Things not meant for human eyes. And who better to investigate these paranormal shenanigans than our school's very own occult club? This is not how I imagine my summer break. If we had to plan a trip, can we go somewhere nice like Kyoto? It's a hell of a lot closer. It's a bit of a special occasion. Just bear with me for now. If you say so. Not like we have anything better to do. Ahem. With all that out of the way, we can move on to the important stuff. <gasps> Story time. Ooh, this should be interesting. Because I strongly believe in saying, saving the best for last, I would just say if anyone else has a spooky story up their sleeve. Any takers? 
Ah, oh, my back hurts. I'm all hunched in. I don't have any scary stories, but I got plenty of stories that'll gross you out. Uh, thanks for your input, Ayane, but let's not. Come on. Is that it? Going once? Going twice? Going rice? Not exactly a story, but there was this weird dream I was having before Ayane came to wake me up. God, that was unsettling. We we're all huddled around in a circle. She's performing some kind of bizarre ritual. I forget it. That's too weird even for me. Nobody has one? Bummer. Guess that means it's my turn. Oh, there's a straggler. The next day. This place again, huh? Guess it's better than standing outside. Oh. Come inside. They're speaking another language. Tourists, maybe? Can I order this time? Sure, sure, I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll stop my head from hitting the desk in the middle of class. Great, what'll it be? Alright, alright, um... Don't know what to get? Yeah, kinda. I don't really drink coffee. I only came here because this is where uh, Natsuki wanted to meet up today. Can I get... uh... an... an espresso? I don't think you want an espresso. Okay, Mr. Psychic, what do I want then? Mocha! She looks like a chocolate lover. Uh, Cafe Mocha sound good to you? Mocha? Uh, that's chocolate, right? I'll try it. One moment. How's that mocha doing it for you? Pretty good, actually. I could order this again. Welcome to the club. Talk to Rin. You're here early. I was hungry. Well, don't just fill up on coffee. Eat some real breakfast. You worry too much. Why don't I get you something? No thanks. Unlike you, I actually ate this morning. Shh. Who taught you that attitude? You did. You're just full of beans today, aren't you? Hey, wanna grab a chair and have a chat? It's been a while. Chat? Uh, let Rin lead the conversation. About what? You know, life, stress, assholes. We both have one. Mine is bleached. <laughs> so what's in your mind? Just, uh, I want to know how you've been doing lately. A lot's happened. I'm doing fine. You look like you're a bit under the weather, but you look like you're under the weather. Is it just another one of those days? It's just another one of those days, isn't it? I feel like every day these past few weeks have just been another one of those days. It's making me uneasy. It's why I'm kind of paranoid, but I feel like something bad is going to happen. This isn't about Ryuga, is it? You took like you two looked like you were really at it the other day, huh? Jessica, what? Ryuga doesn't even live here. Rin has always been a straightforward person, so it caught me off guard when she suddenly flung this response at me. Did I miss something she said? I took a moment to consider it, but I quickly dismissed the notion. No matter how you look at it, it was it was a, that was an incredibly bizarre thing to say. We all met in the old school building yesterday. You were there. Um, no, we didn't. What are you talking about? Do you have his number or something? I swear to God. What number? His cell phone number. What else? Actually, how do you remember how you going to begin with? Did all of your memories come rushing back or something? The conversation was turning into a mess. Did she hear her head on the way home yesterday? Ryuka has been a club member for years now. That's not something you just forget. And she's mentioned his cell phone number, and I couldn't help but wonder. What in the world is a cell phone? What? Suki? Hello? Anyone in there? What's going on? Are you okay? Something was very wrong here. From the moment I walked through that door, a nagging feeling gnawed away at the back of my mind, telling me something was wrong. But I couldn't pinpoint what it was. Just that every little detail about this place, every little detail about these people, everything seemed slightly off. Like I didn't belong here. And as soon as that thought crossed me- Oh, whoa. What the fuck? Uh, Sugiko, what's the holdup? Why'd you stop all of a sudden? I... 
My senses flooded back in a rush of lightheadedness. I felt like I was going to pass out, but I managed to get to I but I managed to maintain a stable posture. What the hell was I doing just now? I was in the coffee shop talking to Rin and then and then what? I needed to take a few moments to recollect myself and retrace my steps back to this morning. I woke up, ate breakfast, and went to school as usual. Rumiko didn't show up at the home homeroom again, but we still needed her vote to decide if we're going to this club trip or not. So we decided to head to her house to check up on her, but on the way there I I had another weird dream. And this time, it hit me right in the middle of the day. Not only that, but it felt much too vivid to be a dream. Am I losing it? Rin, do you know what a cell phone is? Huh? You mean a telephone? No, no, never mind. It was a dumb question. Uh, okay. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Why do I have to knock on the door again? I've never even met Rumiko. Trust me, you don't want any of us to make the first impression. That's a guaranteed recipe for disaster. You're not making me feel any better about this. Don't sweat it. They'll love you. But don't quote me on that. If something goes wrong, I'm blaming you specifically. Are you gonna knock, or... Just give me some breathing space, will you? <sighs> knock, knock, knock. I'm terribly sorry. I heard to the door as quickly as I could. I didn't expect you'd be here so early. Who are you? Hello, Mrs. Sh 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 Shina Mrs. Shinada? Rumiko was absent again today. I'm dropping by to give her the assignment she's missed. Oh, are you now? Are you her friend? Uh, she, she's in our school club. Rumiko never told me that she was in a club. What club are you talking about? Tell me, and give me those papers. Uh, she's part of the occult club. It's really nice having her occult club. What matter of nonsense have you wrote my daughter into? It's not nonsense, and there's nothing wrong with having an occult club. Don't be ridiculous. You're not a junior high anymore. When Rumiko gets home, I will let her know that she is no longer welcome in your club. Huh? But wait, and please reconsider. Rumiko is... Don't you raise your voice at me, girl. Are you raising a pigsty? I can't believe you have the nerve to come all the way out here and waste my time. I hurry up and get off my property. I'm expecting guests soon. But... Shoo! Go play with your paper dolls. Damn. I'm sorry, I sort of lost my cool. God, what the fuck was her problem? I hope she gets hit by a car. This is why I hate adults. Don't worry, Sukiko. You tried your best. Thanks. You have no idea how much I was... Rin, what are you doing? Don't worry, I'm just gonna have a friendly chat. Something tells me that's not a good idea. Rin, well, let's think about this first. What do you want now? I thought I told you to leave... What in the world are you doing? I didn't invite you inside. Get out before I call the police. Hey, let's talk. You better leave. So how old are you now? 40? 50 years old? This is a general amount of time to reflect on your personal failures as a human being. You're supposed to be an adult, aren't you? A mother? And you think you can demand respect without showing it? Where the hell are your manners, bitch? What are you talking about? Get away from me! Have you lost your mind? Rin, what are you doing? Miss Shimada, I am so, so sorry about this. Please don't take any of this personally. She hasn't been feeling well lately, so she's not her usual self. Ayani, what? We're both incredibly sorry for intruding. I promise we'll come back with a formal apology later. <laughs> Fine. Take the girl and go. Just know that none of you are ever welcome in this residence again. Is that understood? I understand, Mrs. Shimada. Thank you for finding the kindness in your, in your heart to forgive her mistakes. You must be kidding. I haven't seen a single shred of... Rin, please do me a favor and be quiet. Please. We'll be going now. Sorry for the mess. Whoa. Hello? Oh. Rin, has she always been like this? Not really. She hasn't been something in the head case, but it wasn't until her sister died that she really lost her shit. That's terrible. Were they that close? Hell no. She hated her guts. I'm just gonna stand here and do nothing? That depends, young grasshopper. She has some kind of plan in mind. We should stop them. We should do something. I'm worried about them. Not the greatest idea. If we try to step in, it'll only add grease to the fire. We should trust Ayani to handle this one. You 
think they'll be okay? They better be. Let's save. Hmm? I can't believe you did that. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I wanted to stick up for my goddamn friends. You weren't sticking up for anybody. You just barged in there like a psycho and started terrorizing her. Don't you use that fucking word. What word? You need to calm down. Hey, honey, shut up for one second. Let me talk. What the fuck do you want, Rayuga? No one asked for your opinion. Stop. Just stop thinking for one second. Look at Tusuk uh, Sukiko. You're scaring her. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I wasn't... Rubiko? This is awkward. Uh, normally... Oh, her eyes. It's part where I ask where you all congregate outside my house, so I can't help but ask. Why are you all congregating outside my house? <laughs> we were looking for you. Where have you been? I had to attend a meeting. In your uniform? I'm re representing our school at the local art gallery that's opening next week. I'm trying to get a hold of you, but you haven't shown up for three days straight. Is this what you've been doing? No, I was sick. Okay, I think I understand the situation. We're already in a really awkward spot right now, so let me give you the rundown. I planned a road trip for the whole club, but you weren't coming to school. Today we decided to drop by and ask you if you're interested in coming with us, and we, um, talked to your mom. We didn't leave a good impression. Okay. One second. Sorry, and then, um, current game is not that. Forgot to update a few, uh, commands. There we go. Okay, sorry. Yeah, it is. It is I like it. Okay. So, what's your answer? I'll go. Great. What's the plan? We leave right now. Uh, my parents plan out my schedule for the rest of the week. If I take one step through that door, I won't be coming out for a while. We should go as soon as possible. There'll be some drama. Don't you get in trouble? I'm always in trouble. Might as well take some time off. I didn't know you were such a rebel. Me neither. Is everyone ready then? Let's get moving. You've got an adventure ahead of us. Just like having fans, Ayane? Must be nice. Ha! <laughs> well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but... That's the boldest lie you've made all day. It does wonders for my confidence. Please, shower me in all the attention. Although that being said, you're a respected artist at our school. Don't you have fans too? There was one, but I punched her in the throat so I don't think she's a fan anymore. Let me go. I'll give you a chance to backpedal while you can. Are you just saying that? No, I absolutely socked another student. Felt pretty good, too. Why? She was annoying. She wouldn't stop following me around and kept stealing my sketches and art supplies whenever my back was turned. I don't have a good rep with the staff, so I tried to talk to her. That's real town. <laughs> That's nice. I, I didn't even notice that. Oh, wait. I told her to give back my shit. She had to surprise that I would accuse her. So I kept her the chase and knocked her lights out. How did you get away with that? Her head hit the ground when she fell. I don't think she remembers what happened. Why'd you hit her that hard? If she fell the wrong way, she could have been hurt really badly. Right, right. My sincerest apologies. This isn't a joke, Rumiko. Can you be serious for one second? I am serious. Or at least, this is as serious as I'm going to be. Remind me to have a stern chat with you later. Sure. Awful weather we're having today, huh? Don't bother trying to save the conversation. It's dead now. Ah, if it isn't our honored guest, arriving late as usual. Sis, what are you doing here? 
Ah, did I forget to mention that? Kagari's coming with us. Oh, no video. Hello, hello! What's up, fellas? How's everyone doing? Bad. Oh, jeez. I hate when it gets that hot around here. How's everyone besides Ryuka doing? Bad. Oh, come on! Things got off to a rocky start today. I can tell. Natsu. Yes? I didn't have the club, du club done to you. I didn't hand the club down to you so you can neglect our beautiful club members like this. Look at Rin. She's totally broken. Fix her. Stop it. I'm not in the mood. Uh, too soon? We'll continue this conversation tomorrow. Uh, let's move on with the details of our club field trip. Ahem. As you're all aware, we have two cars and some people to cram them into. As such, we'll decide who will ride in which car. Gagari's or Rumiko's. I'm riding with Gagari. The rest of you fools can pack yourselves in into car too. Gladly. There's no way I can stay sane sitting next to you for five hours. Not so fast for you. I'm edging along with you whether you like it or not. I haven't hung out with her in ages. Alright, so far we have Kagari, Ryuga, and Iane in the first car, and Rumiko and Rin in the second car. I'll balance it out by taking the second car as well. What happened with Rin earlier today? She probably needs some time to cool off. Alright, I'll take Kagari's car. Oh, that was fast. Can't be surprised. Oh, really? Interesting. But that saves us all a whole lot of trouble. Everyone has given their final answer. So then this meeting is now officially adjourned. The real horror. Car travel logistics. <sighs> Hikari, don't be falling asleep on us now. She's driving. Yeah, I can't help it. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. You too? Is your messed up sleep schedule running in the family? Oh, excuse me. Can we slack? It's the summer. The heat always makes me drowsy, and drows, drowsy anyway. As long as you don't pass out of the wheel. I prefer we end up at our destination, not on the news. Well, my eyes are still halfway open, so we're good to go for at least another hour or two, give or take. Give or take how much? Don't be such a stickler for details, Pumpkin. You'll get wrinkles. How about you pull over and give me the wheel? I can drive. No. My car. Uh, Sukiko, can you talk some sense into your sister? Relax. It's not like there's anything to crash into out here. What's the worst thing that can happen? The car is going to spontaneously combust and kill us all because you couldn't keep your smartest comments to yourself? Excuse me, if anyone's going to get us all killed in a freak accident, it'll be me. Not some evil spirit hiding under the hood of the car. Not for talking about Rumiko's ratty old junker. I'd be surprised there wasn't a demon living in it. What's wrong with it? Oh boy, what isn't wrong with it? The rear view mirror is cracked. The headlights won't turn on. The brakes won't work half the time. I know, right, video? Seriously, that abomination doesn't belong on the road. Honestly, it's so unfair. Unfair? Yeah! How is it she's never gotten into an accident before? But I have! That thing was built to crash! Doesn't that just mean she's a better driver than you? Suki, how could you say that to your own sister? I can't believe this betrayal! Oh, my heart! This life is fading from my body! This is the Ishikawa to dispatch. We need an EMT on the scene. On the scene. This is Is Ishikawa to on the scene stat. It's no use. We're losing her! Operator, what do we do? Operator, what do we do? Where you get? That's your cue. Don't drag me into your stupid games. We have a suspect fleeing the scene. A middle-aged, a male middle-aged looking man was spotted. Was that spotted wearing a shirt and a black jacket with matching slacks? I don't look middle-aged. This is very ugly and smells like wet laundry. I'm about to turn around and smack you. Violence is strictly prohibited. Aren't you supposed to be dead? Well, well, well. Look who's decided to follow along. Dear God, I'm blind! Are you gonna, please don't use your camera flash in the car. Totally worth it. A what? A camera? Give me that photo, you homo erectus! Ah! No, it's like a frame it and hang it up on my wall. Give it! Give it! Alright, alright. Keep your hands to yourself, you damn gorilla. The face is all scrunched up. I look so bad. Really? <laughs> I want to see. You especially don't get to see. I see your eyes drifting over there. Ayane, I'm burning this picture as soon as I get the chance. Aw, oh, but it's cute. It's really not. Ryuga, this is your fault. How are you going to make up for this? Want me to take another picture? No. 
<laughs> you guys. What's so funny? Nothing, nothing. I'm just glad you're all having fun. I've been away too long. I miss hearing everyone's voices. Reminds me why I love you all so much. Sis. Anyway, can I see the picture? You're the reason I have trust issues. Come on, please. I'll be good, I promise. What are you doing? Well, if you promise. Really? No. Get bent. Damn it. You have a real talent for ruining everything you love. I can't argue with that. How does Rumiko do it? Don't bother. That girl is a force beyond human comprehension. She definitely came from another galaxy. Are you guys friends with Rumiko or not? It's complicated. She's got an eccentric sense of humor. It's not complicated at all. Way to deflate the conversation. Just doing God's work. Every time I let my guard down, you keep reminding me why you're the club punching bag. You're lucky Rin's not here. It makes it sound like she'd only give me shit. Oh uh, yeah, and Sukiko? Mm -hmm. Earlier today, he said something about a cell phone. Hey, hey, Kagari, it's fine. It's bound to come up sooner or later anyway. Where'd you hear about that? Okay, it's gonna sound weird, but I heard it in a dream. I don't remember too much now that I'm thinking back on it, though. A dream, huh? Why? What's a cell phone? Is it a big deal? You could say that. What do you think about this, Kagari? We might run into some unexpected problems. Guys, you're driving me up the wall here. What the heck are you talking about? Ditto, what's this all about? I'll explain later. Just sit tight for now, okay? If you say so. It's gotta be some sort of simulation, but I don't understand why or what. If you say so. What's this? What's their deal? I'm getting weird all of a sudden. Is this something occult related? I can't tell with these two. Alright, that's it. Everyone out! Whose house is this? Where are you guys, Gramps? Didn't we go over this earlier? Maybe? Well, that's where we're staying. Time to get try to get comfy. I'll try. You guys always have ways of making things difficult for me. Ryuga's grandfather was no longer in sight. The door was already wide open, so without further ado, we helped ourselves inside. We poked around the house for a little while, much to Ryuga's annoyance. Ryuga's annoyance. But we got impatient pretty quick and peeked into the kitchen to see if there's anything to eat. There wasn't. Rumiko and the others showed up a lot later than we expected. I'm guessing car troubles of some sort. If what Kagari said is anything to go by. Eventually, we all settled inside one of the guest rooms and talked amongst one another while we waited for the next step of this curious venture. Um, it is midnight. I am gonna call it a night, actually. I've been playing for about 40 minutes. Okay. I know, we. Good night, everybody. <laughs> All this and we didn't even get to the horror. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh well. Settings. Difficulty mode. Uh, je oh, that's cool. Um, how much more is left to this uh, video or not video, but Atlas? Sorry, I just saw the video's name. Is it? Don't know what the rat. A little kid. Like yeah, like how much is left? Okay. <clears throat> Where we left left off our intrepid group of adventurers and whatnots. Um, it was the 1950s, Japan. We were at someone's grandfather's house. On our way to somewhere else. I think. <laughs> For a rickety old house owned by a rickety old man, this place is surprisingly well kept. I wonder why. Not much else to do with this time, probably. Weird that we haven't seen him around, though. We haven't seen him around, sure. He could be a ghost, standing in that corner, watching us as we speak. I'm not gonna give you- oh my god. <laughs> could you not say stuff like that out loud? Why? Do you get spooked easily? No. Why are you just starting to give us weird looks? Oh, so he is. Oh, uh, Sukiko. We were just talking about you. You were? It's nothing bad, don't worry. We are just wondering about your hair. What about it? You always keep one pigtail over your shoulder. Why is that? I always thought it was, pecu I always thought it was a peculiar detail myself. Hmm? Do I? I never noticed. What? How can you not notice? <clears throat> Tachibana. R Shimada. It's a joke, uh, Sukiko. Don't be so sif. Can I ask you something? 
Do I even have a choice? Why wouldn't you? Just by standing here listening to me blabber, you're making a conscious choice. You could walk away right now. I won't stop you. Knowing you, you probably won't. I'm not really sure when I'm supposed to go with that. I wasn't expecting a serious answer, to be honest. Well, what was your question? <clears throat> Want to hear a knock-knock joke? Here with the other shoulder. Oh, you think so? I'm leaving. Hey, Rin, you doing okay? Do you want me to leave you alone? No, it's fine. I'm fine. Do you want to talk about what happened? I'd rather we never bring that up again. There are no less than five other people in this room. Go talk to somebody else. Where are you, Gah? All right, shh. I'll tone it down. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Sukiko, come here, you adorable little brat. Uh, Kikari, can you not? I'm not a little kid. Oh, so you're too grown up to hug your big sister now, huh? I guess that's fine. I'll be in the bathroom if you need me. Crying. You get one hug. Aww. Yay! I missed you. I missed you too. I'm sorry I wasn't in touch for so long. I had a lot of stuff that I needed to take care of. But after today, I'll have all that behind me. That's a promise. What do you mean? What kind of stuff? It's a mouthful to explain. I'll fill you in on everything tomorrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, catch. Uh, Omamori. A charm? Why am I not surprised? You'll hang on to it, right? If it makes you feel any better, sure. Whoa. What kink? It's a mouthful. <laughs> Exquisite. Hmm. How you doing? Thank you for the bits. Thank you very much for the bits. That's very kind of you. Good. Why don't you talk to everybody first? I know you've been skirting around these club meetings. I already did. Uh, oh, have you? Might be time to get the start of it. Um, no, they, they're placeholder. This is unfinished. It's just an alpha. I don't even know if Alice is ever going to finish this. And here he is guilt tri tripping me into playing it. <laughs> no, so they're, pl they're placeholders because the art wasn't finished. You start then. Yo, can I have everyone's attention? Yo. Sweet. Okay, do y'all mind if we gathered around the Kotatsu for a hot minute? I have something important I'd like to discuss. Five minutes later. Ah ha ha ha. Oh my god. I'm gonna squirt tea out of my nose. It's actually a little scary. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, while I'm playing that, Jay, of course, wants me to play SCP. Marion wants me to play Shanty in Risky Pirate's Revenge. What do you, what, is, are there any other requests people want me to try and play tonight? You, okay, well, okay, Whacking was SCP too. Maybe I'll do that in like, as soon as this is done, maybe I'll go into that and then... I've never played that game again, Chibi. I already played it once, I don't, I don't repeat games. Calm down, it wasn't that funny. Rumiko, please do that again. Absolutely not. Ah, oh, come on, why not? Kagari, do you understand the concept of comedic timing? There's nothing unfunnier than wearing out a joke. Okay, okay, I'll quit bugging you about it. I understand why everyone thinks Rumiko is so funny. Her sense of humor is just mean. Either way, we've gotten majorly sidetracked. Did she have something to tell us or not? Sis, didn't you say you had something important to- I'll get bugging about it for now, to be exact. I know I keep the best one to yourself. I'll pry your jaws open if I have to. Whoa. Sis, didn't you say- Ah, oh, snap. I will say, their, their dialogue doesn't really feel 1950s, unless that's intentional, Atlas. Sometimes you try it. Happens a few times. Also, it reorders the rooms every time you do- Oh, great. She's She is kind of a butthead, isn't she, Whack? I think I think I should spill some of the tea. I can't even drink safely when you here. At least it wasn't the sake. You brought sake? I've always got someone lying around somewhere. Hee <laughs> hee. No drinking tonight though. I need you all sober. Now you're just teasing us. What's the point of bringing alcohol if you're not planning on getting wasted? Uh, you especially don't get to touch it, you filthy animal. 
You know you want some too. A little, just a little can't hurt. Where's Atlas? Atlas is supposed to be here. I asked him a question, he said he's ignoring me! Oh god, he laughed at me! It's an easy trap to fall into as a writer, to be, you know, to use your own vernacular, you know, casually. <laughs> oh, okay. I asked, um, their, their dialogue sounds a little modern. Is that intentional? Because I think something weird is going on here. Or is that just slightly unintentional? Just a little can't hurt. Don't make this hard on me, Ayane. I'll make this very hard on you. Are you sure you aren't already drunk? If you're drunk, I'd cut to the chase faster. Do I need to reenact what happened last year? M maybe not in front of everyone? Goodness gracious, can someone put this dog on a leash before she makes a mess? Okay, Atlas, okay. That's what I thought. Oh god. It begins. <laughs> it's gonna be one of the... Uh, it's a Saturday Night Stream, and we're playing a little loose. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Of course I did. What is she like that, you think? Oh, rude. I've guessed standards too, you know. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> well, what can I say? I've got a lot of love to go around. <laughs> oh, God. You guys do know I'm here, right here, don't you? The caveman makes a good point. Boys can step out. Not what I meant. He's right, he's right. We shouldn't be getting so rowdy with the youngin in our presence. You're only a year older than me. Even more of a reason to be proper role models, no? You guys are anything but. <laughs> Come on guys, get it together. You all haven't had a sip and you're already acting like you're drunk. You seem to fit in pretty well. Rumiko, you shush. Anyway, where was I? The sake. Oh right, so about the sake. Will you cut that out? But it's true. Damn it, you're right. Ugh. Sis, are you done yet? I'm trying to get your attention for a while now. Huh? Oh, for sure, yeah. I'm sorry. You're trying to remind me about that thing I said earlier, right? So you were listening. Hey, don't give me that look. I was about to get to it. Promise. <clears throat> so. As you're all aware, the purpose of this trip was to investigate strange happenings in town, yes? And as fate would have it, I've set up a nice little ceremony for all of us to participate in before we get started. It's rice wine, basically. But it's a very strong rice rice wine. It's 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 not as strong as like, you know, vodka or anything like that, but it's stronger than like regular wine. Anyway, um what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Atlas, I was also asking, um, is this something you're actually planning on finishing one day, or is this just another one of your many, many projects? <laughs> Sis, when were you running this gig? Didn't Natsuki plan the trip? To tell the truth, I'll be passing out the reins from here. Huh? What happened to the homeless guy story? Okay. Gotcha. Okay, cool. You must have misheard. I met Kagari. With timing like that, I should have known something was up. <laughs> no need to act so surprised. This was my club, after all. No kidding. This whole trip is out of character, even for someone like Natsuki. I can't believe I didn't realize sooner. I'd like me to preface this by saying that the following ritual I have prepared is a very delicate process. Whether or not you take it seriously, please, please, please follow my instructions carefully. How's this related to the ghost shit again? Are we doing a cleansing? Not quite. I'll explain afterwards. For now, please form a single file line and follow me through to the next door. A strong herbal aroma hits me as I walk through the road through those doors. Next room is identical to the one we were lounging around in, but this one's mostly bare. The room is unlit and there's a bunch of stuff plastered all over the black the back wall. Jay. More importantly, there's some kind of ritualistic circle scrawled into the wooden flooring. She wasn't kidding when she said that we'd be dabbling in the occult again. Kigari opened up her bag and produced a small object, just big enough to fit in the palm of her hand. A silver hourglass glinted under the light. 
Her eyes glanced down for a second, then returned to address the rest of the club members. Uh, she placed the hourglass in the center of the room. Kigari had guided each of us to a different spot around the circle. Naturally, my eyes were drawn to the object at my feet. A violin. I recognize it immediately. It's mine. Okay, why does the creepy girl have a knife? <laughs> <clears throat> I look up to survey the faces of, of the others and find an array of vastly different expressions. Some of confusion, some of vague understanding. I look back toward my sister as she clears her throat. <clears> throat> Gagari made an expression I, like I'd never seen before. For as long as I'd known her, she's always been relaxed and carefree, even when things got rough. But right now, in this moment, my sister was serious. The atmosphere of the room had become thick with tension, and judging by the faces of my friends around me, they could feel it too. Hey sis, what exactly are we doing? If it was too loud, let me know. I'm getting to it. Just bear with me for now, okay? Like, how exciting. What's going to happen, I wonder? Nothing bad, I hope. Ahem. <clears throat> I know this is all very sudden, but I need you to know that I have your up but I need to know I have your utmost cooperation before we begin. Is everyone on board with me so far? It'd be pretty awkward to walk out now, so I suppose we are. We're the boss after all. Good. Good. Are you familiar with the law of conservation of energy? Or in simpler terms, give and take? I see where you're going with this. Also, I don't see where you're going with this. What are you referring to specifically? We're going to make a wish. <laughs> make a wish? That's right. <clears throat> a wish always comes at a price, if it's granted. This ritual is not about granting witches. It's about cutting ties with them. It's unfinished. Like I said, there's placeholders and there's unfinished art. Since this is, uh, Alpha. Why would we like to do that? <clears throat> change always comes from within. Wishing for change always brings unwanted company, and I have reason to believe that this unwanted company is here with us now. I feel uneasy for some reason. Why are we doing this again? It's not like any of us actually believe in this stuff. Kagari vanished for so long, months. And this is the first thing she, just, I, she, just, she decides to do now that she's returned? I don't understand. Why'd she come back now? For this? What is this? I'll ban you, Chibi. Before each of you, I play something of value. Maybe not material value, but sentimental value. A red ribbon? Still following along? Now. Oh sh! That's no, that wasn't supposed to happen. How do I? How do I do it? How do I do? Oh god! Oh god! That wasn't supposed to happen. How do I do it? Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Jimmy, I'm so sorry. How, oh no! How do I? How do I unban you? Oh god! Oh god! What have I done? Oh no! Jimmy's gonna kill me. <laughs> Why does it say the user doesn't exist? No! No, God! What do I do? Oh, God! No! How do I? How do I do this? How do I do this? Oh, God! I made the timeout as a joke and I hit the ban button by mistake. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Hold on! Hold on! I got. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God! She's gonna kill me! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! How do you unban some? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, check your check. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry! Oh god! How do I. Ban. I'm banned. I'm banned. Username. What? How come I can't unban her? 
Oh god, hold on a second. I gotta find out what her user- Oh god, I can't believe I've done this. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh god, oh god, why? Pro okay, maybe it's- maybe it's, uh, case sensitive? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. There we go! Oh god! It was case sensitive! Oh god! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Chibi! <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, hold on a second, hold on a second. What is, what is this, what is this? Oh god, oh god. Uh, hold on a second. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> I thought, I, I was just gonna do like, because there's a timeout button. I'm like, yeah, I'll just timer out for comments, haha. <laughs> but I didn't come back. I actually, as soon as you click the ban button, there's no going back. There's no- it doesn't ask you. It just BOOM! Instant ban. Oh my god. So following on? Now. I want you all to close your eyes and remember. Your regrets, your failures, your shortcomings. Think about them. Think about how much you wish those things never happened. Think about how you would have done things differently now that you're older and more knowledgeable about the world. Yeah, I... Because it's case sensitive. I was trying to un... It was... Yeah, oh god. Why is it everyone tries to get a hold of me when I'm streaming? Focus on your symbols, those objects in front of you. Encapsulate your feelings inside of them and... Make a wish. Oh, just an artist I'm working with. No. Something's wrong. That dream. What happened in that dream? I've seen this happen before. We're all huddled around in a circle. Kagari was performing some kind of bizarre ritual before I even knew what was going on. Suddenly, everybody was dead. Whoa. I told myself I didn't believe any of this crap, but I that I can't believe I did that. I can't shake this feeling. <laughs> I'll, I guess I'll have to do a highlight and just so you guys can relive it. Something scripting my heart, and every second that I wait, it becomes harder and harder to breathe until I feel like I might black out. Something bad is going to happen. Something bad is going to happen. Something bad is going to happen! I have to stop this! Uh, Sukiko? I'm sorry, sis, but. That's what caused the death. You're telling me she did all of this? Yes. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I know. Why do you think I'm here? Looking over the case you submitted, I'd say this is a textbook example of sociopathy. <clears throat> I'd recommend your child receive some very serious behavioral therapy before this issue compounds. Aren't you one? A therapist? No. But I could direct you to one. I apologize for my rudeness earlier. Please do so. Certainly. <clears throat> Oh, and one more thing. Your daughter. Does she have any siblings, by any chance? No. She's an only child. I see. Best of luck to you, then. I hope she will recover soon. Oh, another has risen to join the flock. I finally committed. Thank you, AOD. Awesome. I hope so, too. Mm 
The ritual has been broken. You have made the contract null and void. Everyone's gone. Okay, we can save her again. Oh, there's an insanity meter. How lovely. Hmm. Hmm. Something's holding the door shut from the other side. Okay. Uh, Atlas. This is uh, Atlas's game. He made it, and he asked me to play it. It's just the uh, alpha version, though. It's only the first chapter. I think it's like whatever this is. So he requested I play the alpha chapter, and... Hello? Sis? Anybody? Can you hear me? There's placeholder graphics and, you know, things like that. Where the fuck is everybody? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's actually... What the hell is this? Was this always here? A staggering amount of paper talismans line the walls. They're not written in any language I recognize. Whoa. What's up with this house? It's so empty. Um. This is scaring me. I am scared. That's an haunted Japan. Is that seriously? Is that is that true? I thought the talismans kept evil at bay. Piles of salt. There's a little bit of water at the bottom. There are some half-written notes on the desk. Looks like Kagari's handwriting, which means I can't read it at all. <laughs> Any bad things? I'm going. Okay. Ooh. What is that? Small protective talisman. Use these to seal impure objects or rooms. Kigari's protective charm. Sake. Sake. Sake, sake. Therefore, running makes sense. <laughs> yes. We need to run far, far away from this area. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to get myself stuck. There's a note stuck to the door. It looks like Kagari's handwriting. Oh, let's read the note. Let's see here. Do not open this door. Passcode for the front entrance is 0108. Get out as soon as possible. Not really sure what's going on, but I'll take your word for it. All right, then. Just leave those there then. Or they're doing a the job, but you're blatantly you don't think it's your job, God. That is very true. Very, very true. So how is everyone doing tonight? Ah, oh, the bathroom, probably. Ah, painkillers. Excellent. A staggering amount of paper to oh yeah, right. Not good stuff. Oh, God, <laughs> not not the time for that. Okay, so no bathroom breaks. No, we don't have time for that shit. We got shit to do, people. I'm also terrified right now. Of what may happen? You really use a passcode for the front entrance. I think that it did look like Kagari was fiddling with the door when we got here. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool, AOD. <clears throat> Alright, uh, zero, one, zero, eight, eight. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And we leave and game over. Oh, no. Right. What now? What if the person next door is still awake? Well, I'm curious, what happens if, uh... Actually, let's 
save him. I'll save over. Because I'm, I'm curious what happens if you uh, open up that door. Oh, we tried. <clears throat> that does sound good. Yeah, dude, I, oh. All I had was some sh some uh, uh, store bought shepherd's pie for dinner, and it was okay. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I wish I could have some delicious food. That's the one. That's a good sign. All right, here goes. I do love me a good burger. Hmm. Uh, good evening. I'm sorry to bother you so late, but I was wondering if I could, um, if I could borrow your telephone for a minute, and maybe stay over for a while, if that's okay. That sounds okay, Sidian. Of course, of course. Come on in. Pardon the intrusion. <clears throat> and we never saw her again. Is it okay for me to be staying here? Oh, it's more than okay. I'm always happy to have company, even if it does happen to be in the dead of night. <laughs> okay. So what brings you here at this hour? Family troubles? Um, something like that. Sorry, I'm not exactly at liberty to explain the situation. Chicken and beef. Is that what I said? I am really hungry now too, even though I just ate. So you know what? Uh, maybe I have a piece of chocolate. I'm enjoying my favorite chocolate. Oh. Mm. You don't have to explain yourself if you don't want to. I understand. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh mm. and I lost all viewers. <clears throat> I wish I could, but I'm maybe I'm totally lost at the moment. <laughs> <I'm so> <laughs> Not the time for that sound. <laughs> some stew and roast mackerel left over if you want any. I'm sorry, I don't have an appetite right now. Are you sure? You're still growing. You should be eating a lot. Yes, I'm sure. Actually. That'd be kind of cool, AOD. I, I don't know what Dungeon Master's Guild is, though. I'm serving like a horse. I can't just ask this nice old lady to give me food now, can I? If you say so. Anyway, didn't you have a phone call to make? There's a telephone by the stairs. I'll be in the kitchen if you need me. Thank you very much, Mrs. Uh, Uchiyama. Oh, welcome. Okay, phone by the stairs. Can't be in this room. An old samurai flick is playing, but the television is muted. There's the phone. Oh, that's cool. Hello? Uh, Mikey Ba Station. Uh, Mikey Ba Station, what's your emergency? My... I think there's an intruder in my friend's house next door. I'm borrowing a phone from a neighbor. Gotcha. That makes sense. Understood. May I have your name? Uh, Tachibanis uh, Sukiko. Do you need the address? That won't be necessary. Thank you. <clears throat> there should be an officer on patrol nearby. She will be with you shortly. Okay. Is that all? Yes. You stay indoors and explain the situation to the police when they get there. <clears throat> I'll do that. Thank you. 
<sighs> I hope everyone's safe. God, this is going to take years off my life. I don't even know what's going on anymore. That was quick. I should save my game because this is where everything goes to shit, isn't it? Oh god, 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 oh god. <clears throat> you must be Tachibana. Yes. Alright, can you explain the situation to me in detail? A sure thing. My friends and I were staying in the house next door. The power suddenly blacked out, and when I went to go check on everybody, they were already gone. On my way out, I think I saw somebody walking around with a weapon of some kind. I actually don't like to lie, but better safe than sorry. Gotcha. Can you give me the names of your friends, please? Uh, Ryuga, Natsuki, Ayane, Rin, Rumiko, <clears throat> and my sister, Kigari. Thank you. This is Satomi. <clears throat> Intruders believed to be armed. Please have officers on standby. Over. Do you want me to do anything? Stay inside. I'll take care of this. <coughs> of course. Time to go. Leaving it all during battle. Battle. Title flash with the W key. All right. Oh, that's kind of. Oh, jeez. Now we're the we're the cop who's gonna die. Hmm. What am I looking at? You barely even see the wallpaper. It's not a field day with these things. So there's a bus. We can check upstairs in the morning. Does she have time for shit? She does not. Creepy shit. Is this what kids do for fun nowadays? What is this symbol even supposed to be? Creepy. What is that? Okay. I'm terrified. Do, 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 do. I'm terrified. Do, 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 do. Of course, you know we're gonna have to go to the one room that said do not enter. I'm just putting it off as long as possible. Yep, as long as possible. Oh god. Who's there? This is Magiba Police. Identify yourself. Yeah, the game's even pushing me there, but I'm not gonna do it. It's a bunch of scribbles. Eh, I work today, but it sucks. But that's so that sucked. But um, otherwise I'm doing okay. Goodbye, police officer. It was nice knowing you. I repeat, this is Makiba Police. Come out and identify yourself. This is Satomi. Do we have an ETA on that backup? We sent a patrol car on your way. It should be there in five. Understood. Over. Oh, God. I can tell you're in here. Please step out where I can see you. Must have slipped out through here. Not about to climb down either way. <gasps> Damn it, you can't be serious right now. Where's that patrol car? They've arrived a short while ago. They say they've been searching the house looking for you. What? What do you mean? Uh, Kamiju's. Uh, Kamiju? Is that it? Said he's checked just about every room and calling your name. You can't hear him? Every room? But that's. What is- what the fuck? Can you patch him through? 
One moment. Hey, Satomi, where the hell are you? I'm on the first floor. I turned right at the hallway. Hallway? There's no hallway. Huh? Are you... You're not in the house next door, are you? Am I? Shit, I might be. And get your ass over... Wait. You scoped out that whole house? Yeah, there's nobody here. Front door is wide open, though. Nobody there? Okay, I need you to listen closely. This is fucking creepy. Alright, I'm listening. Hey, are you still there? Can you hear me? <gasps> Satomi! Hey, get out of the car. This is really bad. Damn it. I don't just want to stand here doing nothing. This is giving me anxiety. A charm Kikari gave me. I felt like there was something weird inside of it. I wonder what it is. Ugh. I can already hear your voice in my head. You're not supposed to open those. Alright, let's see here. There are two slips of paper inside. One is signed with some kind of holy invocation. Actually, it looks like one of those talismans that were plastered all over the walls. The other is a folded note. This charm was supposed to protect you, but now it's ruined. Don't be so reckless next time. But now that you're reading this, I won't let you leave empty-handed. Flipped it over to the back. Head east and find the school building. If you're lucky, Ryuga should be there somewhere. He can help you. Kigari. Are you all right there, young lady? Miss Uchiyama. Oh, oh, and Omamari, how nostalgic. Let me give you a hand with that. Oh, God! So small, but maybe I could still fit through. Oh shit! God, that hurts. What just happened? Is something invisible covering the window? That got me too. So bad. Fuck, I don't have time for this! With all my strength, I grabbed the paper talisman in my hand and slammed it against the wall. This better work! The window frame is small, but I managed to squeeze through it, if only barely, bruising my sides and my shins on the way out. I didn't care. I needed to get the hell out of there. It was too dark to see where I was going. Before I knew it, I was stumbling blind in the woods. Soft grass beneath my feet and pale, spindly trees peeking through the dust like ghostly watchers. In my haste, I stumbled and found myself submerged in a sudden vertigo as my foot slipped over a ledge. Ugh, that hurt. The heck am I? We ain't in fucking Kansas anymore, that's for sure. Jesus Christ. You don't have- Oh, I don't have flash level. Fuck you, too. Jesus Christ. So the old woman- Yeah, uh. Let me help you with that, dearie. <laughs> I don't know if what I was expecting, but I felt like an idiot when the road led me back to town. I finally exhaled the breath I didn't know I was holding in, relieved of whatever vague suspicions were lingering in the back of my mind. I could see the school from Kagari's note in the distance, but part of me wondered if I should try looking for help again. After the mishap with the old lady earlier, I was definitely hesitant about the idea. I just need somebody I can trust. Sis, I hope I can trust you. That thing better not be following me. Anyway, I've got to find Ryuga, huh? Not the knight in charming armor I was hoping for, but I guess I'm not in a position to be picky. Thunder. There's no power. It's locked. Okay. 
Fair enough. Let me help you, Lovecraft. <laughs> Pretty fucking size of the wood. Oh, just books. Oh, that's lovely. The words are too hard to decipher in the darkness. Yeah, this has bad vibes written all over it. And is that blood leaking under the door? Yeah, I think it's time for me to go. Guess I'm going back the way I came. Ah! What did I just trip off? Tsukiko? You must feel so underappreciated, Tsukiko. Like a lone wallflower in a garden of beautiful hydrogenias. People like us have to stick together, you know. If it means anything to you, I'm so, so glad you're here. I, th I thought you said there was only one chapter, Atlas. <laughs> hey, hey, can anybody hear me? Please? Is anyone there? Anyone? Hey, Nikki, how you doing? Yeah, hydrang hydrogenias. Hy 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 hydrangea. Hydra- Fucking fuck. Flowers. Footprints. Looks like something made a mess going out the door. At least it went out instead of in. It's dark out. I feel like it can make out three or four shapes in the distance, but not enough to know what they are. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> the scent is pungent and metallic. I can taste it in my mouth. Oh, God. every time I breathe, it fills my lungs. It's taking all I've gotten to choke on it and vomit. No good. Don't come back. Don't come back. Don't come back. One of them's gone. It's gone. Oh god. It sounds like there's something moving inside the pool. What, what was that? Hello? Hello? Either, Nikki, go away. Please, for the love of God, just go away. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> Is it gone? It's gone, right? Was that not? Ew. What the hell? Is going on? Item. Right. Weapons use automatic on contact with an enemy when facing it head-on, tempor temporarily knocking them back. Treat them as a defensive tool in a, in a cinch, as they cannot harm most foes. Your weapon has a chance to break with each use, so use them sparingly when possible. Okie dokie. Okay, now we're, now we're ready. The stuffing has been meticulously drawn out, of, drawn out of the doll's body, the dirty cotton twisted into gray entrails. Huh? There, we're safe. Where are we? Okay, let's try and... That can be that easy, huh? There's a small gap where the door froze out of the corner. I better crack this thing loose with the pipe. Is it open? Yeah. Where, 
Ryuga! Shoot, maybe I shouldn't be raising my voice. I already kind of fucked this up. Should I just try it again? Stay quiet. Nah, better not test my luck. Red spider lilies serve as an occasional reminder to save. If you see this mark, interact with it to restore some sanity. Once you do, the mark will vanish. Yes, we have a cheap umbrella now. Exit. No, no, I don't want to... Uh, hey, okay, um, well, all my videos are only recorded in 1080p. I don't know why they only have that as a default. It could be just because I am, uh, I'm just an affiliate, and affiliates don't really get a whole lot of the video options that, uh, partners do. So, unfortunately, there's not much I could do about that. That was close tight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an affiliate. Basically, the way it works is that partners... They get the video options, period. Affiliates get it basically first come, first serve. So sometimes it'll, they'll be there and sometimes they won't. It, it, yeah, it's completely random and completely stupid if you ask me, honestly. Looks like there's something crawling in the pipes. No. Wait, did I save after the... That noise is getting louder. I don't like that. Wait, what is that awful smell? Empty bucket? The mop is absolutely writhing with disgusting in insects. Oh, great. Notice, the drain has been renovated recently. Can somebody from maintenance fill it up to see if it's working properly? Yep, yeah, this is uh, Atlas's game. And it is fucking terrifying. No fires yet. Upon closer inspection, the surface of the can seems fleshy and soft, and a throat clogging body over permeates through the. Oh, gross. Smash. Oh, we got batteries. And a glass shard. And essentially, sweet for the skin. Maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, okay, happiness. Lines over lines of duct tape are keeping the door shut. Um, never mind for now. Doo -doo -doo. The ebb and flow of the blood is mesmerizing. It feels like somebody is gently pushing you from behind. Okay. Well, this is all terrifying. And horrible, and we have to cut the... We have to cut it. Makes you like you're the killer, right? Cut the tape. Of course it's locked anyway. God dang it. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Something goes here. Okay, maybe it's the, uh... Push it. 
Okay, that's not what. No, okay. Oh, that was a mistake. I have no idea what to do. Hmm. Oops. Push it real good. That music is freaking me out, man. Um, um throw the chairs down the stairs, can I? No, I can't. Yeah, squeak. No, you can't. Oh my. Oh god. Hey Damien, how you doing, man? I didn't say hello, I'm sorry. Ooh, ah, push it. Turn in by the oh no, I think we're about to die. Little dip can't hurt, right? Just a little. What the hell was I trying to do? I am that bad of a singer, trust me. Oh! Oh my god, really? I'm a moron. I'm an absolute moron. Uh, who was it? Uh, 67 was wanting me to- shut up, Chibi. Uh, do, uh, Twitch Sings the karaoke program. I completely missed that this bridge was here. I'm in a moron. A moron and a... And a braggart and a charlatan and a... Oh no! Oh! God dang it! Why didn't you tell me that before, boy? to join the flock. Damien, thank you for that gift sub, man. You're awesome. It's 37 so far. Holy crap, man. What the fuck? Need to get away. No. Um. How do I get away? How do I get away? How do I get away? Oh, God. Oh, is it like, uh, oh god, what was that one game I played with the big purple head where you just basically travel a couple of rooms and then that's done? Holy crap, man. I did not like that. Oh, there we are. Regain with the blood. Holy crap, Damien. Seriously? That's insane, man. Take the damn key. This really is good, Atlas. Like, it's disgusting and it's good, but oh my god, why? I think the head is friendly. What if what if it's a friendly ghost? It's like, hello there, goodbye. Because <laughs> they're, they're a friendly ghost, right? Where was it? <laughs> Taxes, you're canceled. The cat. <laughs> oh, Badger. Hey, we all need a little head in our lives. Asleep? No, 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 no! You've got to be kidding me! This is not the time to be passing out. So you go, wake up, you dumb idiot! Not all guys. <coughs> Give me what? 
Fuck, why can't I keep my eyes open? I can't make out the words. That was a bench. Oh, good lord, Obsidian. Oh, is it? What's my insanity level? Let's find out. Ah! <laughs> I'm in danger! <laughs> I think it is. I think this is my oh oh. I gotta find. I gotta find something to cure my sanity. <sighs> yeah, but I gotta find the red saves though. No, she did Atlas. <laughs> she just a sleepy bit. Damn it! That's why I get for staying up all night. Yeah, I gotta keep re-equipping it because fuck the world. She just a sleepy. Ah, I take back my comment. Look. Girl, a bed, a bed, girl, go on the bed, sleep on the bed, girl. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, maybe. This is literally the worst time to be crashing. I need to wake myself up somehow. Almost instinctively, I glanced down at the shard of glass in my hand. Oh. Oh, this is going to suck. Ooh. Hand, elbow, ankle, or ear. I'm thinking ear. Because we don't need that. Nobody needs an ear. I mean, look at Van Gogh. I read that as creepy things keep pooping up to me, to kill me. You look like a little kid. Hey, look at me. Hello. I'm, I'm, I'm only three and a half years old. I play a scary game tonight, and my, my, my name is Hawk. How do you do it? Okay, yeah, okay, I'm going to bye bye. <laughs> hey, guys, I want to play. Mom said it's my turn. Just do it quick, just do it quick. <laughs> Ow, fuck. I don't think I need to cut that deep. You know, it should stop me. It should stop me from falling asleep. Uh, come on, see what it's horrifying. This running hallucinating. That's creepy. Uh, it's an execution chip. What the fuck? Right. I think I'll have for the classrooms. Where were they again? South. Okay. Wacky. <laughs> God. So many good and powerful messages you give in this game, uh, Atlas. What the fuck is that? It's you. Don't worry about it. They're off at all times. If you know what's good for you.
It's your boy. Jesus Christ, Damien, why'd you do that? Dear God, Damien. Sorry I annoyed you. God, all at once! Hey, happiness, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. There we go. Let's just... Okay. There, there, we're... Board is swarmed with failing exam scores. Oh my. What the fuck? That's cool, Obsidian. Everyone should buy one of my shirts. I'm just saying. Yes, just that. Oh, it's the same one, it's just different. Okay. Whoops. Oh, God damn. <laughs> nice. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God! How do I get this thing off? When you are crippled, your movement speed drops and you can no longer run. You can recover from the state by restoring some of your life or waiting it out. You can disarm trust by standing next to them for one second, then interact with it to disable it. Motherfucker. Oh, I'm wearing the two large items. Oh, great. That's what she said. Oh my god. Atlas, why did you make me do this? That's what she said as well. Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickle peppers. 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 Oh my god, Obsidian. Why is the music like this? That's disturbing me more than anything, I think. What the fuck? What the hell is playing on the radio? Is this in English? This thing is giving me the creeps. No! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Somebody better clip the shit out of that. <laughs> Turn it off. No! Oh my god! <laughs> Here we shut up. I need to. I really need to finish that game. I think we just need to smash it. Yeah, there, there you go. Fuck you, radio. I'm gonna regret that later, aren't I? 
Jesus Christ. Ah, Alpha Virgin ends here. Wow, that... You better fucking finish this, Atlas. That's all I've got to say.